Welcome back to another innovation review. Today we're going to be checking out the runner from Plug. First, let's talk about the looks. The runner is reminiscent to the city, which we reviewed a while ago. Simple, sleek, black and red. The red anodized gives it that touch, kind of a little bit of a sparkle in the sunlight. The red anodized on the handles. Overall, just a simple, sleek scooter. Nothing too flashy, but it's really what's inside that makes this scooter special. Next, let's talk about the motor. The runner has a 750 watt rear hub motor, which is more than enough for a scooter like this. 750 watts here, they packed it all in that eight and a half inch tire well in the rear. Quiet, basically silent, but lots of power. More power than you would need on a scooter like this. It'll get up and go, and in that third gear, it really packs a punch. Next, let's talk about the battery. The runner comes with a 48 volt, 13 amp hour lithium ion battery, and all of that's housed there in the deck space. The only thing we see is the charging port with this weatherproof cap. The nice feature about this charging port is the three prong. It's actually keyed, so it only goes in one way, and it has a screw type bezel that will lock it in while you're charging. So if you've got some kids running around, dogs, what have you, they're not tripping on it and pulling it out, leaving you with no juice there when you're ready to ride your scooter. Next, let's talk about the brake. So the runner has a mechanical rear drum brake. Now, one thing to note about this brake is that the lever is on the left-hand side where a standard bicycle, the rear brake is on the right-hand side, but here we've got a throttle in place of that. So they've moved the brake lever over to the left side. Just one thing to note if you're used to riding bicycles like I am. Now, this thing is not going to win any braking awards, but I found if you, when you come to brake, if you put your weight more to the rear, um, it gives you a little bit more traction and you come to more of a controlled stop. Whereas if you just slam on the brake, you can get the tire to lock up, but this thing will slow down as you need to. Um, I didn't have any real issues. Maybe on some wet pavement, you might be a little more cautious, but other than that, the brake, it does its job. Nothing too fancy, but it'll stop you. Next, let's talk about the extras. We've got ergonomic grips, a bell, fenders but what makes this scooter cool is all the led lights that they put on it you've got led lights running the length of the deck which give it that cool blue underglow you've got a led strip running up that top tube into the handlebars you have a small headlight which gives you enough light for tooling around the city maybe hopping across the street to the corner store uh, nothing you really want to get off into some real dark, deep woods or anything like that. It's got enough light to make you feel comfortable, you know, just cruising around at a moderate speed. It's got some rear brake lights, which are cool. They flash as you engage the brake, giving a little bit more of an added safety feature. People can see you slowing down. But overall, I think it's the lights that make this thing stand out a little bit more. Next, let's talk about folding this thing up. Folding the runner is a breeze. You have one lever down at the base, depress with your foot, boom, and it clicks, folds right in half. Your grips do unscrew and also fold down, giving you even a smaller footprint in the folded configuration. When it is folded up, we've got a dimensions of 45 by 7.5 by 14 inches. So this thing should fit in any standard trunk. Um, I think it's great for more of an urban environment where you can pop it out of the trunk, set it up, and boom, you're on your way. 
One improvement I do think could be made on a scooter like this, especially considering the speeds we're going, you know, they say we can go 24 miles an hour. I did 26, 27 downhill. But the lockout feature itself, the mechanism, I think could be more secure, more of a latch and pin or a through bolt system. The arm kind of just falls down into this space and that's where it locks. But I think more of a secure locking mechanism would do this thing justice. Uh, the handlebars, the handles, as far as the grips screwing into the handlebars, those seem to, maybe it was the vibration of the road or maybe it was the vibration of me riding, but the screw mechanisms on the grips did seem to back out slightly as I was riding. So just another feature I'd like to see maybe improved upon. Next, let's talk about the suspension. Now, believe it or not, we're looking at a full suspension rig here. You have a single shock up front, which offers maybe an inch or so of travel. And in the rear, you have these dual air shocks, which I would say also offer about an inch of travel. All in all, in combination with the eight and a half inch tires, along with the suspension, I think gives you just enough ride. It makes it real plush as you're just going down the road or the sidewalk. You wouldn't need any more suspension, and I don't think you would need any less. Another note I would make about the suspension is the rear tire, I found it very difficult to inflate. I have a few pumps here at the studio, and none of them really fit in between the motor, the brake, and that small wheel. So just giving a little bit more of a valve stem to reach onto and fully inflate it, I think would be ideal for this scooter. Next, Let's talk about the controls. I really like the full color display here, all integrated in with the throttle, so it's all at your fingertips, your power button, your mode button. You can cycle through, you can turn your lights on and off. Real user-friendly and just a nice setup. Next, let's talk about the riders. Now, I definitely think that this is more of an urban vehicle. If you live in the city, you've got to commute to work. I think it's a great option. If you drive in and maybe you have to park a little ways away, another great option. It's just so easy to open the trunk, pop this thing out, and boom, you can reach top speed 26 miles an hour within seconds. And even if you just want to get out there and enjoy it on a weekend, it's got enough juice that will really get the wind flowing through your hair and put a smile on your face. I think more of an urban environment is what this thing is tailored for. It's got plenty of power to keep up with that downtown city traffic. And it's small and you can it's nimble and agile and you can just kind of maneuver through the city as you feel. And that's going to do it for our review of the Plug Runner Scooter. Had a great time reviewing this thing, taking it out, running it through the paces, and let you guys know what you can expect if you look at purchasing one of these scooters. Please be on the lookout for more from us here at Innovation. Check our social medias, our Instagram, Facebook. We've got a lot of big things in the works, and we want to make sure that you're involved with us. We want to give you the best reviews of these bikes and these scooters that we can, and we want to let you guys know what these things are actually like out there on the streets, out there on the trails, pedal to the metal, just getting after it. Well, that's going to do it for me here in the studio. Had a great time. Thanks for sticking with me. Again, we've got a lot on the horizon. But until next time, ride on, brother.